Finally, the screwdriver set. Now, we had uh, a screwdriver in the drill set and we had a screwdriver setting for the drill set, but this set is its own sort of thing, if you like. There's obviously a bit of crossover, but this is uh, very much aimed towards electronics, people taking things apart and that. And again, it's got a lovely unbox experience. Got some instructions here. We got some bits and bobs here. Let's get all this out. So, the instructions, a USB charge cable, an anti-static wristband, wowzers. And if you look here, you'll notice, if you're thinking, well, what's this for? There's a USB-C charge port there. If we open this guy up, this is what we've got. Uh, this basically tells us what heads we've got in there and stuff. Here we've got a little magnetic uh, thing for putting your stuff on. And here's all the bits you get with it. A lot of bits. We've got a bunch of spudges. I think that's the right name. Have you ever tried to get into something and it's sort of sealed with little clips and if you put a screwdriver in it, you'll damage it? These little plastic things are exactly for getting under there. Things like phones and bits and pieces like that. And in fact, uh, that's kind of what this is. This suction cup is for getting on something that's again sealed like that and pulling off. Um, my old Mac, the uh, iMacs, used to have a screen that was just magnetically attached and you needed to use something like this to, to pull the screen off. We've also got some pretty cool tweezers here. Uh, this is another type of little prying tool. It's not sharp so much. Uh, more spudges, more of these things getting in places, brilliant stuff. Uh, and this is the actual screwdriver itself. And basically you've got a forward and reverse. As soon as you do that, you get this little LED comes on and you've got two speeds for it as well. Uh, there's no charge port on this because of course it cr connects electronically to that bit and then when you plug it in, it all charges. And basically it just goes in like that. We've also got down here, which you probably can't see so well because it's sort of black on black. Put your screw bit there, it magnetizes. Put your screw bit there, it demagnetizes. Very, very useful indeed. This is a, just a super set. So yeah, that's what is in all the boxes. Now let's actually try these things out in action and see what happens. So let's go ahead and take something apart. You'll see on this that we've got a range of screw heads. It's not, um, totally like you know the everything in the world here they are on the smaller size uh because they're sort of look like they're designed to take small electronics apart as far as drones go uh we've got something useful we've got up to a uh hex 2.0 and there's a 1.5 down here so that sort of thing would be for taking apart your quads this is an awkward angle That's not sticking, so let's see if we can't just magnetize this. Well, it's kind of sticky. I just want to try the demagnetize while we're there. Seems to work, doesn't it? Remagnetize it. All good. Okay. So what this isn't is really heavy duty. So if you've got something that takes um, a lot of strength to get out, you might need to give it some manual turns first. But again, with small electronics, I mean, that one, that one's a bit tighter there. Give it a bit of a half turn and then go. So it doesn't have like the torque to take out very, very uh, tight in big, uh, big screws. That's why it's sort of suited more to these sort of electronics. It wants to come, but it's just kind of stuck. There we go. It's fighting the, and again, this one's a little bit tight, so I just give it a twist and then it'll go. Oh, 
we're in. What a mess. I do need to rebuild this one, so. I'd say I'd leave it off, but I kind of need to <laughs> just make sure it, uh, it works in the other direction okay. Again, tightening, you might give it one extra, like half turn, once you've got it. This is my old Free Sky Tyrannus uh, X Lite, and if you think it's looking a bit shiny, it's because it just came out of the case all sticky, and I've just been isopropyl alcoholing, just trying to get the sticky off, and now it's shiny plastic. I think this was all a case of having to separate the two things. I don't think there's any screws. The two screws at the end here are actually for setting the, the tension on the sticks. Uh, I don't think there are any others for disassembling, so I thought I'd try and use the uh, spludges, see what we get. Always tricky to know how to start with these things, but I feel it's in there and we've got some separation. And while we've got that separation, we can put one of these bad boys in there. At the same time, we can hopefully find the bit that opens this bit up, like so. Okay, <laughs> we're getting there, it's a bit of trial and error. And finally we got in, mostly using this one to create that initial gap and getting these ones under. These ones less so, they, they go into the prying thing, but it was kind of a, a little bit more difficult, but very handy to have uh, these sort of things. And it turned out, that I did need to take the screws out as well. So these ones that are here have sort of affected the, the springiness of the sticks at the moment. They're, they're both centered, but uh, yeah, that's good. I've got a problem with this one that I didn't fix yonks ago with the USB port and um, something failed. So I might have a look at it, see if I can fix it, but this is a pretty old and not so useful radio anymore. So I'm not too bothered. But this is not so much about the radio, it's about this kit. So what I liked about this, as I said, very much towards electronics, these longer screw heads are very, very handy. You often get the point where you have to get a screwdriver in a certain way before you can do anything with it. So when you've got things like these, you can get right inside these little screw holes and get stuff out. And obviously the spudge is good. And the fact we can magnetize, demagnetize that. Very nice set, really like it. This is gonna be, um, my, my go-to screwdriver set for working at stuff on the desk here now. And obviously, if you uh, take out the screws you took, they stay on very nicely. Very useful.